What if the salt on your dinner table came from a mountain older than your entire civilization or was forged in fire inside hollow bamboo stalks? Today on Infinite Farming, we're going underground into the Cura salt mine, one of the world's oldest living industrial wonders. And then we're crossing continents to uncover bamboo salt, a mystical Korean tradition that burns sea salt at 1,500 degrees Celsius, not once, but nine times. This isn't just about flavor. It's about fire, rock, time, and ancient techniques still shaping what ends up in your kitchen. Deep in the Punjab region of Pakistan lies a subterranean giant, the Kura salt mine, the second largest salt mine in the world, and by far one of the oldest. It's said that the mine was first discovered over 2,300 years ago, when Alexander the Great's army noticed their horses licking rocks from the mountainside. Today, this salt mine is a winding network of more than 40 kilometers of carved tunnels and chambers, some as deep as 750 feet below the Earth's surface. Over 400,000 tons of salt are mined here every year, and on a busy day, workers extract up to 2,000 tons. And despite the scale, much of the work is still done the traditional way, by hand. Mining at Cura hasn't changed much since the 1800s. The tools, simple. The process, time-honored. Miners begin by drilling narrow holes into thick salt walls using handheld drills. Inside each hole, they carefully insert four gunpowder capsules connected by a network of wires. When the wires are lit, the gunpowder ignites with a thundering boom, fracturing the salt into manageable pieces without shattering its crystal integrity. After the blast, excavators may assist in clearing out loose debris, but most of the heavy lifting is still done by human hands. Workers manually haul, break, and sort these salt boulders under low, flickering lights, often in high humidity and suffocating heat. It's hard backbreaking labor, but it's also a craft passed down through generations, and it's the reason the mine still produces some of the purest pink salt on Earth. Once the salt is pulled from the depths, it begins a meticulous journey above ground, Huge boulders are placed in piles where teams of workers manually break them down into smaller chunks. Not all salt is created equal. Only the clearest, most visually appealing crystals make it to the next stage. These selected rocks are then taken to the production facility, where they're washed clean of dust and debris. After washing, they're sorted by color, size, and clarity. Some of this salt will be ground into seasoning, but others? They're destined to become something more unique Himalayan salt lamps. At the factory, massive chunks of salt are sliced into manageable pieces and handed over to artisans, many of whom have spent their entire lives sculpting this ancient material. Each lamp is hand-carved. Some retain a natural, raw shape. Others are carefully molded into orbs, pyramids, or intricate designs. Skilled hands follow the lines of the salt's grain, crafting art from geology. Once shaped, the rocks are drilled with precision holes to hold small bulbs and wiring. When lit, the salt glows with a soft amber hue, creating a calming, ethereal light that has become iconic in homes and spas worldwide. Claims that these lamps release negative ions and purify the air remain scientifically debated, but their ability to create a soothing atmosphere is undisputed, and millions swear by their relaxing glow. Meanwhile, the culinary salt follows its own path, Crushed into finer granules, then screened and dried in heated drums, it undergoes rigorous quality checks. The final product is packed in bulk sacks or consumer-friendly jars, ready to be sprinkled over your food, added to bath soaks, or even infused into beauty products. But it's more than just salt. Himalayan pink salt contains 84 trace minerals, including magnesium, potassium, and calcium. These elements not only add flavor, but are believed to help regulate hydration, support nerve function, and balance your body's electrolytes. Whether or not it's healthier than regular table salt is still up for debate, but there's no denying its aesthetic and mineral richness. When parts of the Acura mine become too deep or unsafe to continue extraction, they're not simply abandoned. Instead, they're transformed. Visitors now walk through entire salt cathedrals underground, complete with mosques, sculptures, bridges, and even a salt waterfall, all carved from the rock itself. With glowing lights and eerie silence, the experience is more spiritual than touristic, like entering the Earth's hidden heart. Some abandoned mines are even repurposed for halotherapy, a controversial but growing wellness trend where people sit in salt-lined rooms, 
to inhale microscopic particles, believed to help with respiratory issues. If Himalayan salt is the monarch of the mountains, then bamboo salt is the alchemy of the sea and forest. Originating in Korea centuries ago, bamboo salt or jukium is made by packing sea salt into hollow bamboo stalks, sealing them with red clay and roasting them in a pine wood fire. Not once, but nine times. Each round of roasting infuses the salt with minerals from the bamboo, clay, and pine while burning away impurities. The first few roasts turn the salt a grayish hue. But by the ninth, the bamboo has turned to ash, the salt has melted into a lava-like substance, and when cooled, it hardens into black, glassy pillars. The result? A complex, smoky salt rich in iron, potassium, and calcium, used in Korean medicine, cuisine, and even rituals for detox and spiritual purification. The process starts in lush Korean bamboo forests. Farmers carefully select mature bamboo, cut and clean the stalks, and seal one end to create a natural salt container. Then comes the pine wood, chosen specifically for its resin-rich aroma. Once dried, it's used to fuel massive iron kilns that reach temperatures of 800 degrees Celsius to 1,500 degrees Celsius. Between each roasting round, the salt is repacked, reclayed, and fired again. It takes over two weeks to complete a single batch of nine times roasted bamboo salt. Once cooled, the solidified salt is crushed, often mixed with bamboo charcoal, and ground into fine powders or grains. The powder can be eaten, dissolved in water, or used as a mouth rinse. In some traditions, it's even placed on wounds for its supposed antiseptic qualities. Salt is one of the most traded minerals in the world. And while we often think of it as a simple pantry item, Premium varieties like Himalayan and bamboo salt command prices up to 50 times higher than standard salt. There's also black lava salt from Hawaii, infused with activated charcoal, blue Persian salt, rare and naturally tinted by sylvite crystals, and fleur de sel, a delicate sea salt skimmed from the surface of evaporating seawater in France. These rare salts are used in gourmet cooking, natural medicine, and even religious rituals across cultures. The market is booming, and yet the story behind these grains remains deeply tied to tradition, nature, and craft. But not everything about salt is pristine. Large-scale mining and salt production can cause land degradation, freshwater contamination, and ecological imbalances. Improper disposal of brine, a byproduct of salt refining, can severely harm marine ecosystems. Sustainable mining practices, environmental oversight, and community-based harvesting methods are becoming essential as demand rises globally. At Infinite Farming, we believe that honoring ancient methods means also respecting the earth from which these minerals come. From the glowing depths of the Kura salt mine to the blazing bamboo kilns of Korea, one thing becomes clear. Salt is more than a seasoning. Its history, science, and culture crystallized. A link between nature's patience and human persistence. Each grain of Himalayan pink salt carries the memory of ancient oceans trapped inside mountains. Each particle of bamboo salt is the result of fire, forest, and the relentless will to purify. So the next time you sprinkle salt on your food or light a pink lamp beside your bed, remember, you're holding a story that's been shaped by earth, by fire, and by generations of human hands. If this journey opened your eyes to the world of salt, Drop a like and subscribe to Infinite Farming. We'll keep uncovering the extraordinary stories behind everyday wonders. Until next time, stay curious.